वेलकम व्यूअर्स यूर वॉचिंग बायो हर एंड आई एम योर बायोलॉजी फेसिलिटेटर डॉक्टर सीमा शर्मा दिस वीडियो इज अबाउट नीट एंड इट्स अ मस्ट वॉच फॉर ऑल दो स्टूडेंट हु जस्ट कम टू क्लास टेन एंड दे आर प्लानिंग टू टेक पी सी बी इन क्लास इलेवन ऑल दो क्लास इलेवन स्टूडेंट हु ऑप्टेड फॉर पी सी बी कॉम्बिनेशन क्लास ट्वेल्व स्टूडेंट्स हु विल अपेयर इन नीट after their board exams outgoing batch of class 12 students who are burning midnight oil to crack neat even dropouts who are revising and revisiting the neat syllabus to give their best in the second shot but in addition to that it's a must watch for all those parents and biology mentors and coaches to keep themselves updated regarding neat so let's get started overview of this video includes some very important queries of parents neat aspirants and these are first what is neat second who conducts neat third main highlights of neat fourth neat its format and marking scheme fifth syllabus of neat sixth biology chapter wise weightage seventh and the last is best books for biology when you are preparing for neat and in addition to this this video is also supplemented with some special neat tips for neat aspirants let us take up this first question what is neat its full form is the national eligibility come entrance test for undergraduates and acronym is neat ug ug is for undergraduates and the objective of this sole medical entrance exam is to grant admission in all medical institutions who conducts neat national testing agency which is called nta it conducts neat ug this nta it comes under ministry of education government of india coming to its brief history the first neat exam was conducted on 5th may 2013 and before 2013 cbse was conducting this exam in the form of all india pre medical test and there were other state level pre medical test the objective was to bring uniformity to give equal opportunity to make it more transparent to set international standard to assess competency of the candidates and this is the official neat website of nta you can get all sort of information from this nta it not only conducts neat it conducts other exams also and they release annually their calendar exam calendar so this is the exam calendar of 2023 which i have shared with you but the focus of this video is neat now let's see how many seats are there in medical institutions for which nta is conducting neat and here is the table which is depicting the total number of seats in different type of medical institutions right from government and private colleges of mbbs to bsc veterinary science neat aspirants though the total number of seats is 183782 though it's a national level test it's a tough test but the qualifying rate is quite high it's 56.44% and the number of seats they are also increasing year after year in medical institutions like government is planning to increase mbbs seats the number of seats will keep on increasing this is the approximate data of 2023 next is what is the fee structure for filling up the form so this is the table which is explaining that uh, in india journal category has to pay 1700 rupees journal evs obc ncl 1600 sc st pwd and transgender they have to pay only 1000 rupees and outside india they have to pay online 9500 rupees to fill this online application form of neat next is neat timeline which is equally important and each neat aspirant as well as biology teacher mentor and the parent should have clear idea about this timeline first release date of application form journaling first week of march then one 
Complete month is given for filling up the application form and uploading. And then last date to submit the online fee. They said it was 6th April 2023. Opening date of the correction window. Suppose you wanted some other center or some spelling mistake or some error is there. So this NTA, they open a correction window and they announce the date beforehand. So this time it was 10th April 2023. Another thing which NDA has done this time that they have reopened their registration line for from 11 to 13th April 2023 for filling up the form for all those students who could not fill because of some reasons. And last date to submit the fee online is 13th April in this case. Then the release of admit card. They are generally released in the last week of April. And last date to download this NEET admit card is first week of May 2023. Obviously, before the date of exam, the date of exam of NEET 2023 is 7th May and the announcement of result will be in first week of June. So this is the journal timeline and more or less same will be there next year. That is 2024. Now coming to main highlights of NEET UG. NEET UG is National Eligibility Come Entrance Test for Undergraduates. The frequency of exam is once a year. Eligibility is Science Stream with 50% marks in Class 12 board exams. Age limit 17 years plus and there is no upper age limit. Application mode is online. Mode of exam is offline that is pen and paper test. Type of question. It's an objective type of question paper and it has MCQs. Duration of exam is 3 hours and 20 minutes means you are getting 200 minutes. And the number of questions are 200. But out of those 200 questions, you have to attempt only 180 questions. Total marks 720 marking scheme. Need aspirants. Please remember this point for each correct answer. You are going to get four marks and minus one for each incorrect answer. So be careful and avoid negative mark. Let's know about the subject wise breakup of these 200 questions. So in total viewers, there will be four subjects, chemistry, physics, zoology and botany. There will be two sections in each subject, section A and section B. In section A, there will be 35 questions which will be compulsory. You have to attempt all those. But remember, if you don't know the answer, don't attempt it. In case of section B, there will be 15 questions in total. But out of those 15 questions of section B, you have to attempt any 10 questions. So utilize that choice very wisely. Now let's know about the syllabus also. First, let's take up the syllabus of physics. The syllabus includes few chapters and few subtopics of 11 as well as 12. This is syllabus of 2023 but there is no deletion. But even then you have to keep checking for updates. Similarly, the chemistry syllabus of NEED, it also includes few chapters and some subtopic from specific chapter from class 11 as well as class 12 and they are tabulated in this slide. Now coming to biology syllabus. So biology syllabus in total, it is appearing very less. But these are the units. They are not the chapters. These are the units. Five units are from class 11 and five units are from class 12. In total, 90 questions are from biology part. So I'm going to give you chapter wise weightage of botany chapters, both from class 11 and class 12. And here, please pay attention to this genetics and biotechnology, its weightage is quite high in NEET. You have to revise genetics and biotechnology very carefully to get good score. Next is zoology. Again, it includes few chapters from class 11, few from class 12 as mentioned in NEET syllabus. And this is the chapter wise weightage for NEET. And here also you have to put more emphasis on human physiology because Journally, it's seen that 45% weightage is given to human physiology. 
So all those chapters which comes under human physiology, they should be on your fingertips. So this was about syllabus. Now the question comes, are NCRT books sufficient to crack NEET? What do you think? NEET aspirants? This NEET syllabus is based on the State Board, CBSC, ICSC, NIOS, COBSC syllabus of class 11 and 12. And 80 to 85% of the question paper of NEET, it comprises of questions from NCRT based sources only. But in order to get good score in NEET, reading beyond NCRT is crucial and must. So in addition to NCRT, you can also go through these books. Then there are certain NEET tips. First, understand the syllabus and pattern of NEET. Second, make a consistent, achievable study schedule and stick to it. Third, put more emphasis on weak areas. Fourth, eat healthy and stay focused. Fifth, practice mock test paper of NEET, as many as possible. Sixth, solve as many MCQs as you can. Seventh, study from latest study material. Last but not the least, practice previous year's NEET question papers and keep a track on time too. Time management is also one of the important tip when it comes to NEET. So that's it about this video. My next video will also be on NEET. And these are the points which I'm going to cover in that video. So stay tuned to BioHub. And keep yourself updated as far as NEET is concerned. My all good wishes are with you. Good luck. Bye-bye.